Well, hello there. It is me, Rachel Cross, bringing you Art from the Heart, where every art creation we make is with a point and a purpose. Today, we are going to be making feeling faces or feeling friends. It is a fun project, and it is just a way for us to express different feelings, different emotions, or even thoughts about them, because we all have very many different feelings about different things, and sometimes we can feel multiple things at one time, and that's okay. And with everything going on right now, there is definitely a reason to have um, feelings and emotions different. Some may be good, some may be bad. Whatever they are, that's okay. And so I just want to give you a way to express that, or not even about what's going on right now, about any time, any time in life. This is a fun way to express that. So I have very uh, many different samples today that I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to create one like I always do. I'm going to show you the samples, go over the supplies, and then we'll make one together. So with our feeling faces, um, you can do this with watercolors, crayons, or oil pastels. And these are uh, cut on little watercolor paper, or you can use cardstock. And these are just really fun, bright ways to express the feelings, the emotions. I do use an emoji chart, which I will show. And here are just different um, examples of these. Look at this one, so, so bright right here. This one I think is scared. I wanna say that one is scared. The other one, of course, with the little love emoji. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is weird. These are actually created by students in the Turlock uh, School District. And this one, I remember specifically, he made the colors like that because he felt that that's what he felt like when he felt weird. He felt kind of like yuck. He didn't like feeling weird. And he was able to express that with his colors. And that is so amazing and definitely appropriate when we are doing art and expressing ourselves this is, I'll show one more. This was, oh, the angry face. This was his angry face right here. So I definitely have an emoji chart that we are going to use that will help us with our feeling faces. It's something that we can have at home. We can always go online and print one out. Um, it's a great way to just find self-regulation, be mindful of, hey, how do I feel right now? Because sometimes I don't know how I feel and I need to look within and say, hey, what's going on with me right now? And that's okay, that's a good thing to do. I also have these little funny ones. They're on popsicle sticks made with paper plates. This is the one I'm going to do a sample of, but more of an emoji face. But this was a character that someone created and they didn't talk much, so they would kind of hold up how they felt so they could still express it. And they created these little characters because you can definitely make them to represent you, somebody else, some fictional character you want to make up, any way you choose. This is annoyed. This is the annoyed face, the ugh, can't it just stop already face, right? We all have felt that before. And then for an older student, she created, um, she created this. I'm going to hold a little fat paper to it. And this was her feeling friends. And I thought this was amazing. So she created these different characters. She purposely gave them the style of clothes, the colors, the look, everything that is here. She did it with purpose and intention. And she even went on to go to explain a little bit about the characters and why they felt sad or why they were angry. I believe this one is mad. And then we have happy and fear. And this one, oh, was sadness. And the last one was funny. And what I really liked about this for our older students is you could create these characters and make a story about them. You could make a comic strip about them. You could do anything you would like with them and let them represent you or again a fictional character and just really be expressive with it. I thought this was totally cool, out of the box, and definitely creative. So with all these different types of creations, um, we can go very basic supplies. We can use just crayons and paper is a great place to start. If you have access to more supplies, you can use the paper plates. I use scissors to cut out the center of the plate. That's how I got that perfect round circle for the faces. Um, I use the watercolors, the water, uh, watercolor paper, pastels, pins, markers, the popsicle sticks. There's a lot of different ways you can do this, a lot of different creative ways. 
And here is the um, emoji chart that I have that we are able to use for this um, activity right here. Again, it is a great way. We all, have, we all have pretty much access to emojis right now on our phone, on our devices, and we can always look them up. They're very familiar with who we are and where we're at today in life society. So I'd like to start there with, um, with our feeling faces. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and make one. So again, what I did was I just used scissors. This is just a very basic, basic paper plate. Cut out the center circle and then was left with a pretty perfectly round circle. So then from there, I'm just going to pick what, what feeling do I want to create right now? I'm, I'm actually going to do confused. You know, I think with everything going on, um, there are certain times with different things that I'm hearing and seeing. Um, I'm not nervous confused. I'm just like, hmm, I wonder what's going on sometimes. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, right? And so I just have to trust the process and, and just keep going day to day. But it's okay that I feel confused sometimes and I don't quite know what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and represent that. With that, I'm going, I am thinking about what colors to use that kind of represents the feeling confused to me. So for me, I see that in more of a bluish color, kind of a blue. I'm going to use a, oh, my little crayon's broken, a teal. And we're going to start there, maybe, maybe some purple, I don't know. And I'm just going to go ahead and using my little emoji chart, I'm going to pretty much kind of just copy that face because I feel that represents a good face. Now, you don't have to do that. This is totally up to you. Remember, when you do art from the heart, there is no wrong way to create your art. Any way that you do it is right and, and perfect because you're doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the blue. I'm going to draw. They have the big eyes on these. A lot of emojis have the big eyes. And the eyeballs are kind of pointing up, kind of like, ooh, I don't know what's going on. The little eyebrows are going like that definitely have a little mouth. I'm going to do a little purple mouth. I'm going to add the little question mark on there. Just kind of like, you know, hey, what, what's going on? So what's really fun about this, again, is you can color it any way you want, design it any way you want. And I always like to write on the back what it is so I can remember. And especially right now with everything going on, I can write maybe why I feel confused. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and write confused. Remember spelling is not important right now. It's okay. We're doing art. If you don't know how to spell it, that's okay. And why am I confused? I'm just going to write COVID-19. How about that? It'll definitely stand as a reminder of everything that we have going on at this time. So there's my little face. I'm going to grab a popsicle stick and make it a little face on a popsicle stick. Oh, we also have tape as a supply today. I like tape. It is not as messy. It is easy and fast. Just going to take a piece of tape, any kind of tape will do. Scotch tape, masking tape, duct tape, whatever you have available, just a little bit of it. And then there I go. I have my little feeling face and I could decorate it more like the others. They have hair. I could do it any way I want. And now I have these feeling faces or feeling friends and I can make as many of them as I want and just have fun with them. I can even do play with them, interactive. So this is our art for today, our feeling friends or feeling faces. I would love to see what you create and share. You can share that on Instagram by taking a picture and doing hashtag Operation Stay Connected. Please share with us. Um, have fun with this activity. You could do it with your family, and I will see you next time.